it's just about uh, quarter to six and time to start the day. Got up around five, uh, had some breakfast, and now I'm getting ready to go out to uh, do some food shopping. I'm going to take you with me. As well, uh, I am now uh, putting up, uh, uh, I'm working on the next uh, up, 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 upload for uh, YouTube for Big, Big Bathy. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm working on the next upload for uh, BBTRL. That's going to be a video comment. So uh, stay tuned for that. And um, basically, right now I'm uploading twice a day. But there is going to be a, a possibly a third and fourth upload today because uh, I'm intending to get two episodes up. Uh, one of Ubuntu BSD Unix Intel, and the other one is going to be an episode of Beauty and the Geek. So, and I think what's going to happen is on Saturday is I'm going to uh, do Saturday as. Uh, an all-nighter again. Pulling, the, look, maybe probably, I'll probably try to pull an all-nighter again. But it's gonna. Uh, I'm gonna uh, on the weekends just do one video, just so I can catch up uh, on uh, on the videos. Because uh, right now I'm a little behind. So uh, by putting uh, two days as one, that will allow me to catch up. So. Anyways, uh, I will see you on the road in a few minutes uh, as I uh, go to uh, TNT. I'm going to go by the department store first to see if there's some stuff there that I want. Uh, and then from the department store, I'm going to go to TNT. That's my supermarket. And get some stuff for the weekend. Anyways, see you in a bit on the road. Well, we're off again. Going food shopping again. Uh, sometimes, uh, well, let's explain it this way. I like to have fresh food, so sometimes you have to go to the food store more than once. So uh, this is why I do what I do. And so I'm going to go pick up some stuff. Uh, I make most of my food. I don't uh, get it pre-made, so uh, if you want fresh food, you have to go out and buy it every now and again. Anyways, I will see you at the stores, and I'll vlog then. Coming to the edge of my street, and you can definitely see the leaves are starting to change, so fall is definitely here. There are some leaves on the ground. And it's amazing, it's, uh, from my perspective anyways, that when you start out walking, you start off uh, rather cold are cool and as you start walking more and more your body begins to heat up so you can feel one way when you start and feel another way when you finish so that's not a bad thing and in terms of the exercise this is definitely the way you want to be this is kind of the end of my street here this is where I sort of turn the corner and that's kind of why I turned out so I'll show you uh, the end of my street this is uh, where I spend a large chunk of my time in terms of where I'm at. I do have a residence, but I spend uh, so much time uh, doing uh, my library research that uh, there's no point in going home to my residence. We're just still at my parents' place. <laughs> and it's, 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 it's not bad, it's, it's about 10 minutes from here by car. So it's rather close. It's not as if like, you know, other people, when they move out, they move far away from their parents, they move to another city, they move across the country to another country and they move forward. That's not my situation. My situation is I'm still rather close. So it's not that much of an issue in terms of uh, distance. It still wasn't some degree of adjustment. You know, living on your own, cooking on your own, paying your own bills. But uh, not a bad thing once you get used to it. And the ironic thing is, is once I started learning how to cook, this was, oh, many years ago. I'm talking about really learning how to cook. Because I wanted uh, restaurant quality food. 
they were on a major street here. I wanted re restaurant quality food, but I didn't want to go pay out, pay the uh, restaurant prices. So I learned how to cook. I'm talking, I'm talking uh, restaurant style of cooking in terms of the quality. And it wasn't that much of a, a, a of a deal because uh, in my culture, being Greek and uh, Syrian, there was a lot of uh, restaurateurs and chefs in my family, so it wasn't uh, that much of a stretch to sort of uh, create my own little diner uh, in my place, and so I could have uh, restaurant food whenever I wanted to, and that's sort of what I've been doing for the last. Uh, Ooh, more than 10 years now for about a decade so I've learned how to do all the different types of cooking so this is where I cross the street um, so up until now always on sidewalk here I have to cross the street and I have to turn you guys off because crossing the street is serious business I just finished food shopping this is where I food shop here we'll see how long the battery lasts kind of dark out and as you can see let's see did we get the point where we can see so we did here we go that's where I go food shopping this is a nice little mall here I also shop here it's called home basics the so home basics right here A lot of it. A little interesting places here to shop. I'm a little late in vlogging because uh, I didn't. When I got back from food shopping, I ended up doing some work in the warehouse. Then I put together an episode of Ubuntu BSD, Ubuntu BSD Unix Tal. Did shot an episode for Beauty and the Geek. I'm uploading uh, the next episode of uh, of uh, BBTRL uh, BTS vlog. That's going up uh, right now. And of course, I made dinner. <laughs> so uh, it's been a long day. So it's right now. It's five about five thirty in the morning. Yesterday was basically the same thing. It was, it was yesterday was an eighteen hour long day. Today's going to be uh, probably around the same. And uh, it does get grueling. It does become, you know, a grind. But uh, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, I forgot to set my timer, so I really don't know where I'm going with these uh, in terms of the limit here. I got eight minutes in for each segment, and if I don't have it time right, I kind of forget what time it is, and I have a tendency to go over. But these things will be corrected. This is what the, this is, the, but this is what these episodes are for to help me sort of uh, get this down to a better uh, science, <laughs> we will. Um, so what's up? Uh, the, the Tesla product, product is coming along. That's one of the reasons why I'm working on the warehouse now. Uh, the warehouse is going to be an integral part of. Tesla project. That's where uh, 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 the actual uh, equipment for the Tesla project is going to be uh, built. There is a machine shop back there, so it, that needs to be there. The things have gotten backed up. My upscaling has gotten really backed up, and so a lot of cleaning out is required. So that's what's going to be happening over the next few months. Is going to be doing a lot of cleaning, a lot of organizing to get the uh, machine shop back in working condition again. Uh, and then from there on out, I've got to test and make sure all the uh, machinery back there is working. So that's uh, what's on schedule for the next few months. Uh, then I also still have to work on the bench here. I'm doing some cleaning here, some organizing. Right now it's a general organizing. And then uh, once I get everything into the general piles I need, then I have boxes I can bring out and start uh, boxing things and putting them on shelves. But again, that's gonna that's gonna be a let's say a project that's sort of gonna stretch itself out. Uh, I've got some new opportunities to bring in some uh, uh, more research funds 
And it's a bizarre thing. It's, it has, it, it's going to be connected to uh, the show, the kitchen diner. It looks like I have an opportunity to develop uh, menu ideas for a restaurant. So uh, I'm going to start pursuing that, start working on that. And uh, it, 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 it's not something too complex. It's, 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 it's rather easy. I try to make dishes that are... Uh, one from scratch, and then two, something that is uh, re relatively simple on the palate. In other words, uh, sometimes you don't want things too complicated, too complicated uh, to have. And I find in many cases that the the, the best foods, well, 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 the best foods that I like, again, this is probably where a cultural preference comes in, is the Asian food. I like the Syrian food, I like the Greek food, which is again more on the Syrian side of things. Uh, I like the Indian food, uh, which has an overlap with the Syrian food, and uh, a lot of the uh, Eastern Asian foods as well. So that's sort of where I'm cooking, that's the area that I'm cooking in, uh, in terms of the uh, type of food. And this is the type of restaurant that I'm going to be uh, developing menu ideas for. In other words, they have a, a already a, a well-developed menu. They want to add in new things, maybe try bringing new customers, sort of keep things fresh and sort of keep their menu going. And every once in a while, I guess they go out, you know, if they like an idea, if they like something, they'll go out to a person and say, okay, you know, you know, if they like their food, like they're, di different, they're doing something different that they really haven't tried before, they say, okay, what have you done? Show us your recipe, and uh, you get your item on the menu. So <laughs> that's where I'm going with this. Uh, and, that, and I might film the process uh, for the kitchen diner. I haven't decided that yet. I'm still working on the kitchen diner. That's again another product that has to be worked on. Uh, that getting all the equipment in working order, making sure the making sure the cooking goes well, and that uh, the hard part because the uh, kitchen diner is small, I gotta find where to put the uh, camera and lighting equipment and keep things sort of going. But again, this is a process. This is this is one of the reasons why we're here is to do this, uh, and have some fun with it. Uh, the next goal is uh, that I'm talking about this week is this is sort of our, our theme for the week. I did film before I go on to the theme for the week. Before I, uh, uh, yeah, before I go on to the theme for the week, I did film or try to film a follow me vlog. I have looked at the follow me vlog that I did while we were shopping. It is a little difficult to do because it is dark outside. Uh, this Follow Me Vlog is the sort of the second half of things where I show you TNT. I'm going to try to do one all together, but the problem that I had this time is the battery wasn't, uh, was almost dead, and so I had to sort of uh, be careful what I shot. So that's sort of, that's going to sort of wind up what happens with the uh, with the uh, this follow me vlog when I go food shopping but then on Wednesday I'll go food shopping again and we'll, tr we'll try to see if I can get the whole thing done anyways uh, I'm not done yet for the day I'm gonna come back and we're gonna talk when I come back we're gonna talk Tesla we're gonna talk hidden libraries we're gonna talk research all right bye bye see you in the next segment Alright, we're ending the day today. Yeah, I'm just doing the final upload uh, for today. They're doing um, the Ubuntu BSD Unit of Tau. There's a new episode coming up. So, as that uploads, uh, we're going to do our last little bit uh, <laughs> for now. Uh, our last uh, sort of... Uh, Our last segment, our last, you know, discussion at the end of the day. See how it's bright outside, how the sun is out? Yeah. It's, uh, the sun is out this morning, and for me it's evening because I'm going to go to bed in a little bit. I just had a bowl of cereal. Um, I'm watching some cartoons as, uh, this uploads. Anyways, um, there's going to be, uh, this weekend, uh, there's going to be, 
an, uh, another episode uh, coming up on Saturday tomorrow. Well, oh, tomorrow. Later on today, when I get up again, I'm gonna work on um, an episode of uh, uh, Beauty and the Geek. I just have to edit it. I filmed it. I just have to edit it. So that has to be done, and then upload it. Uh, there's another episode of uh, uh, BTS vlogs coming. But beyond that, uh, on to the uh, issue at hand, the uh, the uh, Tesla project. This uh, Tesla project is going to be going on all year long. Uh, it's it's a new massive project, a massive project that's going to take uh, much of the year to do, and it's the initial look into um, Tesla from the perspective of quantum physics. In other words, uh, what was seen or missed in Tesla that uh, could give insight or, or, or demonstrate or be demonstrated within uh, quantum mechanics. In other words, what we're, well, not in other words, what we're looking for is uh, some of the hidden components of Tesla, some of the things that were unfinished with Tesla. Were they covered by quantum mechanics and the recent development of electronics? Or is there actually something more? And you know, is there something more to uh, Tesla? And in other words, is there something we've missed? And so this is why we're gonna go back over. The first thing we're gonna do uh, is uh, just gonna do standard work and the standard work is doing standard measurements, taking uh, standard measurements of uh, static fields, uh, energy fields, uh, so on and so forth. Stuff that's more or less known. In other words, we're not going to be pushing outside the boundaries. And the reason for this is that we need to build our meters, we need to uh, understand our measurements. Uh, and this is how you do it. You go first with the known and then once you have your known and your meters are working properly you know your meters are working properly then you start looking for things that are unusual things that uh like measurements and in, 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 in collected data that sort of uh stand outside the norm and so and then from there, that's when you start doing these, you start developing more specific experiments, try to see uh, what was in Tesla's lab, how far did he get, what did he do in his nose, and how much of the nose was he actually able to put into practice. And this is sort of where the, where the overall focus of the project test is going to go. And then once you do that, as you, as you go through the uh, the Tesla project, there's going to be a parallel project to this that connects it to the quantum physics lab and looks at Tesla's work in comparison to quantum physics, the development of quantum physics. And this will this comparison will demonstrate if there are any discrepancies, if there are any mysterious, and what I'm looking for, particularly, are anomalies. Areas that are not well understood like, uh, and produce some degree of phenomena that is maybe repeatable or not repeatable, but is also not, at the same time not described by quantum mechanics or missed by quantum mechanics, or does not meet the, the uh, 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 <clears throat> we're talking about experimental results, does not meet what is stated in quantum mechanics. In other words, do we have another result in addition to some other stated theoretical results within quantum mechanics? So this is where we're going with that, with the uh, the Tesla project, uh, is that it's going to be an enormous project. It's not going to be a very simple project. We're going to spend an entire year on metering and measurements and it's going to be some uh, pretty interesting stuff. Anyways, that's it uh, for today. Uh, it's about 10 to 9, and I'm going to be going to bed in about 5-10 minutes. Alright, good night.